Hello YouTube and fellow Minecraftians and welcome back to yet another Minecraft video. We're going to be doing another tutorial design video on fireplaces, furnaces. Um, it, they're not really all that super good and apparently someone has come through and decided to take all my fires out. So we got to do I fire and let's go ahead and put all the fires back in where they're supposed to go. But um, anyway, we're going to try to get through these and hopefully they will give you some inspiration. We got some small ones and we got some big ones to come and some that aren't so very good, but uh, they're hopefully just give you some ideas and some, some pointers as to what you guys can do in your own builds. So here is one fireplace design. It is a very small uh, fireplace. You put some kind of food in there, salmon, steak, a rabbit, who knows, any kind of food that would... Um, would cook over a fire and you have your little uh, grate here in front of the fire to keep wary or very curious children from touching the fire or whatever so that's well it's actually to keep the wood in or something I forget what that's for it might be aesthetic but there's a there's a reason for that um, but you have you can put all kinds of stuff you have a fireplace mantle here that you can do a lot of cool stuff with and uh, yeah that is that is cool 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 here's another one very very simple um, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to add just a little more detail and throw that in there. So that way it looks a little nicer. And actually, you could change the biome of this now since we have the new resource pack. We can make it like white or maybe even that gold color. And that's, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. So, um, by the way, guys, definitely check out the new resource pack, the new uh, updates from Conquest. They are awesome. Here's another fireplace design. Here you could just do the upside down stairs and connect them and make it so it's kind of like this little like box. And you still have that sort of mantle on top to place stuff. And uh, yeah, so that, that is another cool little design you can do. This here is more of a like castle kitchen or like um, something big, some, some kind of big building. This is what they would have, uh, like they would have places to leaven bread and like typically a, a castle this size this this would be like the main and then you'd have another place for like uh, the bakery or whatever so you can put all kinds of stuff you can even put cabinets over on that side and maybe like a table over on this side to um, cook bread and stuff and maybe have a table over here it could really look really nice this is actually the fireplace that I have in my upcoming castle courtier I'm almost done with it, just got to do a few more interiors. The main castle interior is finished, um, and I'm going to be showing you guys it very soon, so hopefully uh, that'll be fun, or that is going to be a lot of fun to go through. Here's a corner fireplace. This is actually a great way to conserve space. I mean, all you got to do is keep your original walls and then just stick in some stairs and then that little middle portion up, and there you go. You got yourself a fireplace and uh, really works. It's hard. These are hard to do. Any fireplace is hard to do when you get up in the higher stories of say your castle or your house or whatever. But you just got to, uh, you got to plan for it. You got to make your walls thick enough to be able to make, make stuff like this and uh, it'll work out. Here's another fireplace. This is actually another fireplace that I had in Courtier because of how the support structure it needs to have that sort of like upward slant and so you can put a fire behind there and so it works out fairly well and on top of that well actually you know like this keeps going up like that but um, but still I mean you got some pretty nice uh, mantle space there to put a lot of cool stuff um, here is another design uh, very very simple very very simple if you guys haven't thought of this then yeah anyway we're going to go over here and we're going to check out that and this here is another it's a relatively small fireplace this is for like say a keep a small keep like a small keep you know just a small cook fire small fire to cook whatever they cook in a pot um, whether it be stew or um, some kind of meat who knows boiling fish um, but here's another uh, fireplace here it's a little weird per se it's made out of brick so it looks I mean I personally sometimes it's hard to build with brick but I don't know this one turned out fairly okay 
So hopefully that'll give you guys some inspiration to build a brick fireplace in your builds. Um, again, the thing I don't like about bricks is that they're biome specific and stuff, and so that's why I always like to build in stone brick because there's only one, or not stone brick, but cobble. There's only one version of it. Here is another um, brick fireplace. This is more of a kiln sort of fireplace. So this is something where they would, um, you know, they would put pots in, like, you know, just clay pots, and they would harden the clay in there or something, um, or uh, maybe bricks, they would harden bricks, stuff like that. I mean, who knows? Just, you know, you can do a whole lot of stuff with a kiln. Um, here's another fireplace. Someone went around and took out all my fires. Shame on them. <laughs> I know who it was, though. I forget their name, though, but they, they said, I'm sorry. But anyway, this is another fireplace. This is another sort of uh, thing that you can do a lot of cooking with. It's more or less, um, it's just a, just supposed to be some detail added in, and uh, you could technically just put like fish there or meat. You could take out that little bottom portion, just you know, hang it from the the upside down stairs there, and so then that way you have some nice um, lots of food cooking at the same time, and it's sort of a smaller design. Here is a bakery. It's just a one slab bakery. So this is what, uh, you just have that one sort of sheet there. It's supposed to be more closed, and technically that's how a bakery is supposed to be. Actually a bakery isn't even supposed to be like this at all. Um, typically a bakery would be like this little like pile of like, it'd just be this little like hovel basically of like clay or brick or whatever. And it just had this little tiny, um, entrance into it and then you like open the lid you'd open the lid and you know you pull your your stuff out but you know this this is more of a minecrafty um bakery here so that is a cool thing you have the fire down there you feed the fire here you have your shovel and your coal and you just shovel the coal in and there you go you got yourself a nice fire here is a smelter smelters are for um turning iron or any kind of raw ore into a pristine ore, an ore that can be used to make swords and stuff. Now, in reality, smelters aren't even that big. They're only like, like if there was a way to detail something like this big, um, technically you could. If you made, let me just check this out, guys. Um, technically a, um, which call it a there we go a smelter would be just pretty much like this and then you'd have the i62 change that to uh, let's change let's keep it at stone and then you'd have crap well it doesn't matter And then you would have, um, say, that there. And then you grab this, like that, and then that would go up to the roof. So this is technically what a smelter should look like um, in real life because I had looked up some videos um, on, a, on how a smelter actually looks. And technically, these shouldn't even be iron. These should be. Uh, we have a stone texture. Let's try that. It looks it lo it'll look kind of weird though. There we go. So yeah, it does look a little weird, but um, whatever. But that's what it's supposed to be. It's just this little tiny thing, and it just has like this little like door that you open. And there's like some kind of really big fire in it. Like even here, you could open it up and then say there's supposed to be the fire there and then that's how you make the fire really hot or, or know, whatever something like that um, I will try to find that video it's actually a long video it's within the video but um, it's actually uh, some people that are building a medieval castle in like modern times but they're only using medieval means and uh, the local resources they aren't importing anything they're only using what's around them and um, it's a documentary on how medieval people would have made a castle. 
and they have like everything that you would need for to build a castle so uh, it's like this bustling village life basically and uh, it's just really cool so I, I will try to link that into the uh, description I'm probably not gonna link the video itself but I'm probably gonna li link like just like the first video and you guys can watch through that if you haven't watched through it before um, but definitely check them out and uh, they're coming out with a new season sometime soon I think so so this is another bakery here it's very small enough oh, what am I saying another bakery here it's not very small um, but it has two slabs here and you have the bread sort of pushed back and cooking back there so that is what that is for a nice little bakery and you can look down there there's the fire so that has another bakery fairly large really large actually and then this actually is a blacksmith and um, something that I want to remind you guys of is when you make a blacksmith um, you have a fire in there you have your anvil blah 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 you know the basic stuff but remember to have this sort of like um, I, even my last take I forgot what this is called I forgot to look it up but this is the thing that you would pull and then it would lift the uh, the blower and it would blow air into the fire to produce oxygen and make it extremely hot so that is what this is for and um, yeah it's a really interesting um, concept but it really uh, you know medieval people were smart very smart um, but uh, yeah they, they come up with all these really cool designs and uh, ways to do things like oh man if you guys just watch that medieval series that I'm talking about it will be in the description below but if you guys watch that you guys will learn so much about the medieval era and like how things were done and uh, but yeah, it's just it's just really cool. It's like just making slate for like floors like um, I Don't know like uh, clay slates like they would use clay slates for floors or for roof tiles just to make that took like months to do so like seriously, it's just amazing and just the process that goes into it but anyway, um, that is what this is and I'm like just continuing all my like detail tutorials and everything like this is um, that was my shelves tutorial, my chandeliers, my chicken coops, and now this is the fireplaces. And again, these fireplaces aren't all that exciting, but um, hopefully they will give you some inspiration in one way or another. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked, please like, and if you guys want to see more, please subscribe. Almost done with my computer. That is um, almost out of the way. It's sitting behind me right now, just waiting on the graphics card and a tray to put my SSD in. And there's my phone. But anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Till next time, bye bye.